The ardent golfer, he would play Mount Everest if you just put a flag up on top. Golf is not a fair game, so why build a fair golf course? Have at it, boys. <laughs> the healing waters of Pluto Mineral Springs was perhaps the perfect stress reliever for 312 of the PG of America's finest players who converged on French Lick Resort for the 43rd PGA Professional National Championship. Presented by Titleist, Quick Joy, Cobra Golf, Club Car, and Golf Channel, the championship began on the classic 93-year-old Donald Ross course and Pete Dye course, which opened in 2009. At stake was the Walter Hagen Cup, named after the five-time PGA champion and founding member of the PGA of America. Also a share of the $550,000 purse, six PGA Tour exemptions, and an exemption to the 2011 PGA Cup. The top 20 finishers also earned exemptions to the 2010 PGA Championship. With the third and fourth rounds contested on the Pete Dye course, 2007 PGA Professional National Champion Chip Sullivan was looking to make a move. His third round ace at the 195-yard par 3 13th earned him yeah. a brand new <laughs> club car precedent. But it was Mike Small who made the biggest move on moving day. With a 65, the two-time PGA Professional National Champion was in position to successfully defend his title and join Larry Gilbert as the only three-time PGA Professional National Champions. Entering the final round with a four-shot lead, Small's task was still daunting. I was nervous. I was more nervous today than I have been in some tournaments. I don't know for what reason, but uh, I was leaking oil bad. I was three over after five and hadn't really come close to doing anything good. The University of Illinois head golf coach seemed to regain his form with a birdie at the sixth. But subsequent bogeys at nine and 11 brought him to four over on the day, three under for the championship. Meanwhile, Sonny Skinner, the 2008 PGA Professional National Championship runner-up, was steadily closing in. Beginning the day six shots off the pace, the PGA teaching professional at River Point Golf Club in Albany, Georgia, birdied the 15th to tie small at three under par. When I knew I was tied, I kind of refocused myself and got a little more, uh, got a little more commitment in what I was doing. I decided to play from a position of strength, not weakness, and um, I was kind of protecting all day, but then when I became tied, it kind of got me going, kind of gave me some, some impetus to, to play hard. With birdies on 14, 16, and 17, Small reclaimed the lead for a three-shot victory in his record time performance. It means a lot. I had a lot of respect for Larry, and I watched his career from a distance, and uh, he had a lot of friends. And I had, people had a lot of respect for him, so to be in that company is awesome. It feels great to be the 2010 champion. Uh, it was great last year. It was great in 05. It stuff never gets old. I'd love to be 2011. Led by Mike Small, 20 PGA Club professionals gained entry into the 92nd PGA Championship at Whistling Straits. Six of the 20 were playing in their very first PGA Championship. But all were excited to tee it up with the world's best players. Appearing in his third PGA, Rob Labritz, the PGA Director of Golf at Glen Arbor Golf Club in Bedford Hills, New York, was the sole PGA Club professional to make the cut. Let him know that you appreciate what he did by standing up and giving him some applause. We will be on the 18th green when the Watermaker Trophy is awarded to the 92nd champion of this event. Well, there are 28,000 men and women professionals who are so proud of you today for your great performance. Congratulations on being the low club professional. Nice going, Rob. It was great to play with a two-time U.S. Open champion. He was great around the golf course all day today. Emotionally, it's, it's great. I mean, to have them here to experience something that is a dream come true to me uh, means everything. I just didn't want it to end. That was the bottom line. 